does. Thanks for having me, Jim. Good to be here. Now, uh, tell us, uh, you know, basically, I want to start with uh, who is Jim Lemunyan? Tell us, uh, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Sure. Well, I appreciate the uh, the opportunity. I've uh, been in business most of my career uh, here in Northern Virginia. Uh, my wife, Robin, and I have lived in Northern Virginia for 26 years. We've got three great kids. Uh, all of them have graduated fairly recently from Oakton High. Two are actually out of college now. Uh, but uh, my business career is principally involved in technology companies, more on the small and startup side. Uh, I've been involved in four companies uh, over that uh, period of time. I've also taken a couple of turns in government. Uh, once. Uh, in the admi administration of the uh, first President Bush as a Deputy Assistant Secretary at the Commerce Department. Uh, and then years ago, when we first came to the area, I was Chief of Staff to a member of Congress on Capitol Hill. So a wide range of experience. Sure. I, government is not new to me. The legislative process is not new, uh, as well as the, the executive processes and how that works and interact. So, uh, so basically, as you were looking at this as a you know, potential to, to run for for the office, what uh, what drew you to it? Why it's a, obviously running for office uh, takes a you know it's a burden on the family, a burden on your time, that sort of thing. Uh, why did you decide to do it? Well, at this point in time, it's I have enough flexibility work-wise. Uh, as I mentioned, our kids are out of school, so we're not doing the soccer games and the uh, uh, little league and uh, and scouts and things that we've been involved with uh, for many years. So it's 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 the right time for me to have the time. Uh, to do this, and my family uh, is very supportive uh, of that. Uh, it's also, uh, you know, frankly, my frustration that, that government is not getting enough done on some important things like transportation, and I think we need more leadership on that issue uh, in Richmond, and frankly, I think we need someone and, and more people, uh, not just me, with a business perspective that can bring kind of a results-oriented attitude uh, and approach to getting those problems solved. Uh, clearly, uh, you know, based, cl clearly, we're dealing with large budgets and and that sort of thing in Richmond and, and all levels of government. It's good to have a, a variety of perspectives and it seems a lot of times that, that they're not really focusing on the bottom line so much. It's, it's a, lot of, a lot of missteps along the way. Sure, and I've, I've seen uh, when I worked on Capitol Hill and when I, when I ran part of a federal agency, uh, it's important to have people that are focused on the bottom line's results, not just the day-to-day -day, uh, activity. It's, it's the way uh, well-run companies are run. I mean, you have right. to know what your direction and vision and outcomes are, but you also have to pay attention to the day-to-day -day things as well. And so often, I mean, you know, government will come up with different ways to kind of get around uh, balancing its budget and, and, and in many cases not balancing its budget, although in Virginia you're, you're supposed to. Right. Uh, you're required to, but, uh, you know, there's all sorts of, of games that can be played with the budget process. And, um, uh, you know, it's a shame that government doesn't always work like families do, and businesses and families do. You can only spend what you have. You have to sit down and decide what do we have, what do we need, what do we want, and, and what, uh, how much of what can each can, can we do. And, and far too often, government, uh, government doesn't really deliver as, as it should uh, or handle, handle our money. Uh, as, as it should. So it'll be interesting, you know, your, pers your perspective uh, with businesses and so on. Um, your district, now people are watching this from across